Yeah, I had this watch over six months now. Um, you see the face on it there? Well, when I first got it, I wasn't sure if it had like cellophane over the face or not. It was fitted so well on there. Like everything to do with this watch, the fit and the quality is really, really good. Uh, so anyway, after wearing it every day for six months, there you go. Take that thing off now. Give it a bit of, bit of spit and polish. There you go. It's like brand new again. <laughs> One of the things I really like about it, and. Looking at other watches, some people aren't happy about the size, either too big or too small. To me, this, this thing's perfect. Awesome. Let's have a look at it. It came with a couple of different straps and also a, a cover for this, because it is a, it's a military watch. This one, they make two of these, one for the Army, one for the Navy. The Navy's the better one in my opinion. It's waterproofed and, I don't know, bomb proof, all kinds of weird stuff. But what I didn't, it's easy to operate this thing and to change the time. And I, lo I love that it's on the left. That's one of the reasons that I bought this watch. Because uh, being on the left, when you bend your wrist, the, the winder doesn't stick in your wrist. Perfect. Uh, why doesn't everyone do that? <laughs> The bezel, um, I didn't show this last time, moves really smooth, uh, it's not too loose, not too tight, doesn't click, for some reason I was expecting it to click, probably because I had a dive watch in the past, a pulsar, and that one clicked, but this one doesn't click, it's smooth, and at night the luminescence of it, it shines really good, and I guess that's why this strap comes with a cover for the if you are in the military using it and the Russian military uh, use these things and I see why it's an awesome watch yeah it comes with a cover to block out the luminescence so it doesn't give their position away and get shot or something crazy like that everything I like about it um, but I'm, I'm an older guy I'm in my 50s and the date the date thing, I can't see the stupid thing. It's not big enough for me, but with young eyes it'd be fine, I'm sure. But um, for me, the date might as well not be on there, but but it's there, so there you go. Um, awesome watch. It's waterproof, of course, to way deeper than I'm ever gonna go. It's waterproof to 200 meters or something like that. And it's shockproof, so let's, let's throw it in the water. Let's get this thing out. There you go, look at it. Awesome watch, I love this thing. It's underwater right now. I used to scuba dive, and I would use this. No problem at all scuba diving. In fact, uh, I've used it a couple of times already snorkeling and I'm going to be doing that today. I'm going to be messing about with Peanut. Where is he? Hey Nuggy, what are you doing? <laughs> Look at the state of him. What are you doing, Nuggy? Hey? Looking for stuff? Exploring? Yeah, the winding mechanism. Um, once you first get it and wind it up, it's pretty good forever almost uh, and unless you're not wearing it if you don't wear it because of course it's it's wind self winding it's got a like a I don't know I'm no watch expert like some pendulum thing in the back that every time you move it winds it somehow um, works works great if you don't wear it it'll run out stop working after three days so you'll have to wind it up again um, other than that, it just keeps on ticking, and it keeps good time. Awesome watch. Right, I'm gonna go mess about with Peanut in the in the uh, estuary there. Yep. Here comes a train. He he doesn't like trains. <laughs>
he's not too keen on them things anyway I'm off swimming <laughs>